I'm not gonna be able to do this in a few minutes with all the makeup on, so <laughs> excuse me. Hey guys, it's Blaze. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm sick. I don't feel good. I know I've been gone for over a month. I haven't filmed in over a month. I did not mean to go on such a long hiatus. I've been trying to get myself to film every single day since Halloween. And every single day there's been a reason why I just couldn't. But I am trying to push through it now and get this video out finally because Juno and Co sent this to me in October. And I mentioned this in my Halloween get ready with me video. And uh, I'm finally gonna do it. And so please ignore this. This is one of the reasons I have dry skin right there. Uh, why I was like hesitant to get on camera because I'm very, very self-conscious about my skin. I do have a skin disease called hydrodenitis suppurativa, uh, which is flaring up in other places. And it doesn't really flare up on your face. I just have very sensitive skin. I'm hormonal and I'm sick. So I have acne everywhere, so deal with it. Or don't, that's your choice. Thank you. Yes, so Juno & Co sent me this gigantic packet package. Everything just wants to fall out. Uh, full of goodies to review for you guys. Uh, I wanna get this out during Blazemas just in case you guys want to order some of these things as gifts for the holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Yule, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, even if you don't celebrate for December, I don't care. You guys know I am an affiliate with Juno & Co and I have a new link with Juno & Co that you can click down below because I now make a very small amount of commission when you order using my link. So every time you order from Juno & Co, please use my link. It will really help me out. Uh, money's tighter than a virgin this year. My mother's going to kill me for saying that, but it's true. Let's start off. I'm going to take off my glasses, whoa. Okay, um, I'm going to be using to prime my face. I already did a whole entire video reviewing this. This is the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. I absolutely love this stuff and highly recommend it. Let me put my hair back. That's why I have this hair band or headband, whatever. Should have put this on before my gigantic hoop earrings. Bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop all right so let's go ahead as you guys can see i use this stuff i'm not just trying to oversell it i know it's a bit pricey but when you use my link you also get 10 percent off your entire order so that is a big plus especially if you want to order something like the moonshine miracle cream oh. and it's for all skin types including people with extremely oily skin like myself also, my main light isn't working and I need new batteries to use it. And the batteries are in my mother's room and she's sleeping, so can't use that. But I'm going to do my foundation next. And to put on my foundation, I'm going to use, where did I put the packaging for this? Because I kept it for a reason. There we go. This is the Lavender Velvet Sponge, the microfiber Lavender Velvet Sponge. Uh, it's 50 times softer than the original Velvet Juno & Co sponge. Uh, the Lavender Velvet provides the perfect natural coverage for fresh spring ready airbrush finish. Oops. Uh, well, it's about to be winter, but who cares? It is a beautiful lavender color and it's got a little slant on one side, which is my favorite. You guys know I love their microfiber sponges. I loved their original. I really loved their rosé ones. They also sent me the lemon drop one that they released during the spring and summer. Um, if you guys want me to just do a video on that or let you guys know like in an update video, um, I will let you guys know how that one is, but I really wanted to use this one. So let's go ahead and use this one. I'm gonna be taking my number seven beautifully matte foundation in the shade Calico because it is my go-to foundation. I love it so very much. So what have I been doing since I've been gone? Or what have you guys missed? Nothing. Um, <laughs> I've been up to actually a lot. I have another video that I'm hoping to get out in time and I should have out in time before Christmas. 
I've been gathering a lot to make it and it's actually a wish video, a wish.com video. And it's not your typical wish.com video that you usually see. Um, it's, it's much different, which that's the kind of videos I like is not the same kind of hauls and reviews over and over again. I like different once in a while. So here we go. I love how that laid down the foundation. I'm just taking what's left on my hand and finishing up. Uh, another reason why I was waiting to do videos was because, uh, as you guys know, I'm also an affiliate with Shop Miss A, and they sent me a PR package at the beginning of the month. I think it was December 2nd? It was either December 1st or December 2nd. They sent me out a PR package because they released some new items and they were like, we're sending you out a package so you can review them on your channel. So I said, great, awesome. I'd love that because I'd love to show some cheaper or more affordable items for you guys because we are a budget beauty channel. Uh, by the way, these sponges are six bucks and they are totally worth it. This gets five wicked little devils. Um, so I was like, great, so they could have some stocking stuffers. They came out with some beautiful new palettes for $10. So if you are on a budget and you wanna get a friend something and you don't have that much money and they're into makeup, get them a beautiful eyeshadow palette for 10 bucks. Um, so I've been checking the mail day after day after day, waiting, waiting, waiting. And I did see that a couple other people who were our affiliates uh, got their packages and I was like, okay, still waiting for mine, but whatever. So yesterday, which was December 10th, I just shot them an email and I was like, hey, just wanted to make sure that you guys got the package sent out uh, for the PR because I've been checking the mailbox and I haven't gotten anything yet. And I know that they were like having problems with the regular customers because their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals had them like with so much orders like that they could did not anticipate how much orders were going to be coming in. So like a lots of people were complaining like where the hell is my order? Um, so I did know that. Um, but when I saw that, like I said, other people were receiving their PR packages, I didn't worry about it. And they were like, oh, here's the tracking number. So you know when it gets there, we hope you enjoy your goodies. I said, great. So I put in the tracking number and it said that it just left Texas yesterday. I'm in Colorado, by the way. And it said that it's not 100% accurate, but the estimated delivery date is not, is not until between the 5th and the 10th of January. You guys know I have no patience, literally none whatsoever, but I wouldn't have had a problem with this if it was not Christmas time, holiday time. I wanted to get it out in December in time for you guys to order before Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate, because I wanted that to be a holiday video so you guys can get that in time for the holidays. So that was my only real issue but I'm going to get that out for you guys, regardless of when it comes, it's going to be coming out, so don't worry. Um, hopefully it will get here before it's too late. I don't know when it's gonna get here, but I don't know, follow me on my other social medias. I've been posting on there, so you guys who follow me on there, I have been getting your messages of, bitch, where the hell are you? Are you alive? Is you good? And I'm like, I'm not good, but I'm alive. I think. Oh my God, am I? I don't look like I am. I am the ghost of Christmas fibromyalgia. Another thing, if you don't follow me on my social medias, hi. Uh, I did cut my hair quite a bit myself. I had a breakdown and I was like, you know what? I'm sick of it going into my food every single time I eat. It's making me sweaty. It's just very inconvenient and I just cut it myself, I've done it before. So, and I have professional hair cutting scissors. I cut my sister's hair. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it since I was very, very young. Uh, for concealer, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in L100 Fair Porcelain. 
So that is what I'm doing there. Um, I plan on doing a lot with my hair in the new year uh, and for the new year. Um, my mother was very concerned when I said that because she was like, the last time you did that, you melted off more than eight inches of your hair. If you guys have been with me since 2015 and 2016, you guys will know that and remember that. Um, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to make the mistake of being, like I said, no patience and bleaching my hair four times in one day and toning it two to three times in one day. Because like I said, I have no patience. That's what melted my hair completely off. When I say melted, I mean it literally, as I was washing it out, melted into the tub. So <laughs> that was fun. Um, I love my hair. I want to keep as much of it as possible. I know this is random, but I'm trying to just catch you guys up to what's been going on, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling. So yes, I have an advent calendar again this year. Last year I had the NYX one. I'm not telling what I'm so sorry about that lighting thing. I know it's because of my black background. I love my black background. I'm not getting rid of it. So I'm sorry. I got to figure out a new way, another way to fix that problem without getting rid of the back black background. Black background. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I'll remember at some point where it doesn't matter anymore. The next product I am reviewing, I am super, super excited for. Uh, when they first announced they were coming out with this, I was just like, yes. Uh, this is the Juno & Co. Juno Blur Makeup Setting Powder. So it comes like this. It is like very luxurious looking. Ah, uh, my life. It says, oh wow, it's like really bright on the package. No caking, no creasing, no flashback. So let's open the package and take ye on out. They really like slay the packaging game lately. Juno and Co has really stepped up their game in the past year and a half-ish. So this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. It's like frosted glass kind of thing. It's not really glass, but it's almost like a glass, but you twist it off like this. I already opened it a couple months ago and it got everywhere, but like the top part is like, uh, like a bouncy mesh instead of like solid. So I actually really like that a lot better than the solid part because it's like bouncy and I think it's a little easier to get the powder out that way. So let's go ahead and set our under eyes with this. This is, I have not used this yet. I just opened it, but I did not use it. Let's shake this a little bit and get some more. Oh, <laughs> there was some in the top and now it's all over my blanket. Great. And my blanket of course is black. <laughs> By the way, do you guys like my holiday nails? Because I sure as hell do. It's my first set of holiday nails. They got little reindeer on them, some little hearts, some sweater print, and my favorite is the snowflakes. Love, love, love it. If they were longer, I'd love it more. I used to hate long nails and only do this short nails because they're more functional. Um, <laughs> but now I'm all about the long nail life. So. So how you guys been doing? How was your all's, all's yours uh, Thanksgiving? How has your December been going? I'd like to know. What are your guys' plans for the holidays? Please let me know. So I'm gonna let that sit there and bake for a minute or two. <laughs> Powdery kisses. Ooh, I want donuts. So the next products I'm going to be reviewing are the brushes they sent me. They sent me the whole uh, sets, both the face set and the eye sets of the Juno & Co uh, Babe, Juno & Co Babe brushes, I think they're called. Uh, they are faux mink. Uh, you can get each one separately, 
or get the face ones all together or get the face and the eye ones together. I don't know if they still have that bundle. They did for like um, their holiday sales or whatnot. So this is what they look like. Really, really cool. It's almost like like springy kind of almost material, like slinky. And it says Juno and Co on it. And then it's just like this dusty pink. So this is their number one large tapered powder brush. I'm gonna use that to wipe away the blurry, ooh, wow. Okay, that powder is no joke. There really is no creasing, no cakiness. That really did just like really well just set my under eyes. All right. So far the powder, the blur blur powder gets by Wicked Little Devils too. I'm going to keep using this because I'm going to set the rest of my face. So let's do that. So far, I do really like this brush at least. It's very soft. And yes, I pronounce it soft, S-A-W-F-T, soft, because I am from New Jersey. Uh, Enzo and Cass, S-A-W-F-T, soft. I miss them. And I'm gonna spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T, gonna go ahead and just do my brows off camera since they are highly offensive please do not flag this video for inappropriate content so I will be right back we're back with Blaze's terrible brows I think next I'm gonna do the eyes and then I'll finish with everything else on the face and I'm going to take this is going to be in my uh, best of beauty 2019 this is basically the only palette I've been using since August when my friend Brittany got this for me as one of my birthday gifts. Uh, this is the Violet Voss Essentials palette. It pretty much has like all the colors you'll ever need really for a really nice look. It's got neutrals and pops of color. I really wish I would like to take the way the pink though, the shimmery pink and replace it with a blue. That would just be my opinion. But, uh, so I'm gonna go prime my eyes and we'll get to it. Okay, eyes are primed. I'm gonna start with the number six fluffy blending brush from the Juno Babe collection. Ooh, that is indeed very fluffy. So I'm going to start with the color sand just as a transition color. I also used this in my last video, which was my Halloween get ready with me. So, yeah. Oh, if you got, oh, now I remember what I was saying. My advent calendar. <laughs> uh, this year I wanted to do something different. First of all, didn't have the money to do another advent calendar. And my mother likes doing the advent calendar as like gifts. So she actually is the one paying for them. Um, and she was just like, and she kind of, it was, we were, we, we worked on it pretty late. Um, so she was like, pick one that's kind of affordable that you really want. And there really wasn't any makeup ones that I was totally digging that were like super affordable. Um, there was one and it was like $43.99 on eBay. And I was just like, no, I'm good. Uh, and then my friend on Facebook posted this advent calendar that was not makeup related. And I was like, holy hell, I have to own that. And I sent that to my mother and I said, that's the advent calendar I want. And she surprised me with it. Um, so I will be doing a whole separate video on that. So I'm not gonna say what kind of advent calendar it is because I'll be filming a whole separate video on that so you guys can be surprised and have fun with me but if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys already know what it is because i post every single day what it i get that day for the advent calendar see how this is just like the perfect 
transition color and crease shade. I just love it so freaking much. And these brushes, holy crap. This is very fluffy and it is blending like a dream. I'm gonna take the same brush and go in with Dusty Rose and just put a little bit of that in the crease as well to build up a little bit more color in the crease and some more depth. Really, really pretty. I also do like the way they packaged each individual brush. Very, very pretty. So I'm gonna take the number eight flat packer brush and I'm going to wet it a little tiny bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with plum berry, which is this dark plum berry color, purpley color. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid because I'm feeling like a purple mood and my favorite color is purple. So why not? And I haven't used this on the lid yet, I don't think, have I? Oh, there's lots of fallout with this one. Hopefully it will wipe away. I have had no problem with wiping away fallout in this palette. That's like the number one, or my only complaint with this palette is some of the fallout. But again, I've had no problem wiping it away. Can you please stop doing that camera? It's really irritating. Um, oh, I also wanted to mention, I've been getting a couple of private messages of people asking me what they can get me for Christmas and uh, please don't. <laughs> okay, um, if you insist, and I always say, if you do not have the money, uh, please don't because I know what that's like. Uh, but in my description box, I always have listed under my stuff and things. Uh, I have my Amazon wish list, which is always stuff that is hella affordable. I will never put anything expensive on my Amazon wish list um, because I think that's extremely tacky. And I see a lot of YouTubers who do that. And if you know, if they have fans that can afford that, that's fine. But like I said, we're a budget living channel and I most of my viewers can't afford expensive stuff and I feel weird when people buy me pricey things anyway I don't really like it um so if you would like to send me anything also my PO box is always listed below um but anything that I if, if you do send me anything that I absolutely love which a couple of you do send it to me every year for my birthday and for the holidays cards. I freaking love Christmas cards, birthday cards, holiday cards in general, just cards, letters, especially if they're handwritten letters. I am a sucker for handwritten letters. Call me a romantic. Seriously, you can even like print it out of your computer if you want. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I, I really just really, really like cards and letters so if you'd like to do that that would make me very very happy you do not have to spend more than 10 cents on a stamp for me so that would make me very very happy let's see if we can wipe away this fallout easily yep no problems ah love this palette gonna take the same color on the number five smudge brush this is a smudge brush yeah i guess it is it's kind of a fluffy smudge brush but i'm going to use it just to pack on some more pigment because i don't feel like the packer brush did enough Ah, uh, i like that i like a packer brush 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 with some fluffiness to it because to me it just gives more payoff and it's more comfortable so and this being so tiny it's in to the tiny little crease part much easier. Now I'm going to take the number nine angled blending brush, which looks like this, just a normal angled blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade cinnamon, which is just a cinnamony dark kind of brown color. And I'm going to use that on the outer V and blend it kind of like so, ooh, pretty. I don't think I've used this shade yet, have I? 
Maybe once. It's really pretty. Very nice. Stop doing that! Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah, I really like these eye brushes. They're really nice. Last random thing that I wanted to mention because a couple of you laughed because if you guys know me, if you've been around since 2016 when you first witnessed the cringe that is my fangirling, uh, I am a cringy fangirl. I am 31 years old and I still act like a 13 year old girl uh, when it comes to fangirling. <laughs> so I started talking about the Borgias, the show, in 20, late, mid to late 2016 on my channel. Um, my favorite person from the show being the actor Francois Arnaud, who played Cesare Borgia. Um, he is also the star now of Midnight Texas, um, which I have to admit, uh, I've never seen a single episode. Sorry, um, <laughs> even though he's my favorite actor, just never got into it. Anyway, I've mentioned in a couple videos that he is my favorite actor and that I've followed him on Instagram for years now. And all I ever want is for him to just notice me one time, just acknowledge my existence once. That's all I ask, like just like, like a photo that I tag him in or say something back when I comment on a photo or a video of his anything to let him know or to let me know that he knows I'm real. So backtrack, you guys, uh, the past three years uh, have asked me in my holiday tags or my Christmas tags, whatever, I am taking the number 10 angled liner and brow brush. I'm gonna use that just to go under my eyes tightly. Um, what my favorite Christmas movies are. My number one favorite Christmas movie, same with my mother and my sister, is The Ref. Uh, I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but we've had the DVD for several years, maybe 10 years, maybe longer. Uh, it's starring Dennis Leary, love him, and uh, Kevin Spacey. Just forget he's Kevin Spacey for just an hour and a half, and then you can go back to disliking him. That's what we do. Um, I'm gonna take cinnamon and put it underneath with this. Uh, so that's our favorite Christmas movie starring Dennis Leary, who's one of our favorite people of all time. Uh, and earlier in the fall, Francois announced on his Instagram that he was going to be in a mini holiday series on Fox called The Moody's. Uh, starring him and Dennis Leary. So I screenshotted that back in June or July and I kept it in my favorites, in my favorites album on my phone to remind myself, even though he was more than happy to remind everybody on his Instagram. So I have been waiting and it premiered last week. And um, so when I was watching the first episode, I'm not going to give away any spoilers just in case you guys wanna watch it. Uh, oh, holy Christ, I, boy, I took a screenshot or a little, yeah, a screenshot, whatever, a picture of my TV of all of them of me watching the first episode and I put it in my Instagram story and I tagged Francois on it and I was like nothing I'd rather be doing tonight than watching this and I tagged him in it and when I went the next morning to go and see who had viewed the story and viewed the photo Francois had viewed it He didn't like it or anything or say anything, but he had viewed it. I can die happy now. A great success! I got what I wanted. I wanted him to know that I existed and to acknowledge I existed. And he did so. Praise be his name. 
and starting to tear up a little bit again. When I tell you I woke up to that, I was feeling like shit. My nose was stuffed. I was like, I'm going back to bed. But I checked my social medias when I first wake up and I almost fell out of bed completely. And I was like, <sighs> and I just shared it everywhere. I even took a screenshot of that. I took a screen grab of that and it was like, look, it's not a fan account. It's his actual account. And I was just sharing it everywhere. And some other person, I don't know who she is, but she was like, oh my God, you did the same thing. And I acted the same way. I'm like, bitch, it's not about you. Okay, don't take away my moment. But no, I wasn't like that. I was very sweet to her, but that's how I wanted to react. Me, okay? It's mine. I'm stable mentally. That worked out really, really nice. I really enjoy the brushes that I have been using so far. I have a feeling this is going to be a hella long video when I was telling myself while I was getting ready to set up and everything, try to make this video as short as you can. And I was like, yes, Blaze, make this as short as you can. Failure. I'm gonna go back with the blending brush. I, the one thing I don't like about the brushes is it doesn't say what the brush is on the brush itself. It only says it on the packaging, but whatever. Uh, I'm taking the shade Cream, which is the shimmery, white cream shade and just taking that to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner or should I do gold on the inner corner I think I might do gold on the inner corner I love this for a highlight it is so freaking pretty and I'm gonna take the smudge brush and take the shade gold which is just a shimmery gold color and put that in the inner corner just for a little pop of color there. That's cute. I like that. I love the colors purple and gold together. They were my main high school's colors after all. Um, that's not why I love them together. I just think they look super pretty together. Cute. I'm gonna do my waterline and my liner, <laughs> liquid liner, and my mascara, and I will be back. Oh, I missed an eye brush. I wouldn't have used this one anyway. Okay, this is the number seven precise eyeliner brush. So it's just like a regular tipped, thin tipped eyeliner brush. So they do have that in the eye collection. So I'm going to be using, I guess, the last three face brushes. And I'm going to be using it on their newest product, which they released in October, mid, mid October, I think it was either mid, I, it was either early or mid October. I am so stoked to be reviewing this. I've heard nothing but amazing stuff about this. This is the Juno and Co. Perfect, perfect me cheek defining kit. And I have Cherry Bomb. They have two of them. They have the Cherry Bomb palette and the Bombshell palette. Cherry Bomb is for lighter skin tones and Bombshell is for medium to dark skin tones. So I'm obviously pale as a ghost. Uh, so I got Cherry Bomb and they do have names. Uh, they have Glimmer, Daybreak, Baked, and Petal. So it does come in this really pretty ombre pink packaging. Again, cardboard like I love this come on this is so my aesthetic it's like 60s kind of motif it says cherry bomb on it with like a little pretty girl eating the cherry uh, like a rose gold kind of packaging so freaking nice and it has a full length mirror on top and these are the oh let me take the eyeshadow condom off even though there's no eyeshadow and it at eyeshadow eyeshadow it boomeranged back at me go over there so these are the colors in this so these two are like highlighters then we've got like a shimmery blush and a matte bronzer or contour shade whatever you want to call it so that's what this looks like so freaking pretty oh, I'm in love 
doesn't smell like anything at all uh, it kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Sweet Peach Face Palette, I think it is. I think that's what that is. Uh, so we're going to start with the bronzer, contour, whatever. So we're going to take the Juno & Co. I don't have to say, you guys know it's Juno & Co. Number three angled powder and contour brush for this. Ooh, again, very soft. Very, very soft. So let's go ahead. Again, I haven't even swatched these. So let's go ahead and look at that. That almost went all off the brush, but we'll do it again. I don't mind that because <laughs> I've heard these are great. Um, a lot of the, because we're part of a group on, what's it called? The app? I think it's called Slack, uh, all the affiliates for Juno & Co. And like some of them have used them on the eyes as well. And they were like, oh, it's so pretty. And it's like even like prettier on the eyes. I'm like, hmm, all right, I'll try that. So I do like this brush. I love these brushes. They are super, super soft. There's no shedding. And they're really pretty. Like I said, my only problem with them is like, it doesn't say what kind of brush it is on the brush itself. But I think you can kind of tell what brush is used for what. Can you stop doing that? Stop it. Get some help. As you can see, total contouring queen. But that's really pretty and it's definitely the shade that goes with my skin tone so good on that now i'm going to take the number two detailed tapered powder brush for the blush shade in here this is a shimmery blush um with these palettes they kind of wanted to go even though they because they released them in mid-october now i remember they kind of wanted it to with some of the pr packaging you were able to get a, like a picnic basket with this and everything but they were like oh do you want the whole picnic basket with your pr because if so it's going to take like an extra month to get to you if you just want the palette itself we can send it out to you right away i was like i don't need the basket you could just send it to me right away should have just waited for the freaking basket since i wasn't going to review it till december anyway but their theme was kind of going for it can be spring and summer all year round so why not there is some kickback with this palette i'm not gonna lie as you can see and it's you can see in the palette itself I, uh, I forgot to mention this retails for $22. So not terrible, not amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some of this on. I'm not usually a shimmery blush kind of gal, but we'll see. And I do like to kind of blend it out with my fingers because I like to tone it down a little bit. I do, I, I'm like so upset because I have to like mess up the cherry design in the blush which makes me sad hello daddy hello mom i'm your ch 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 cherry bomb that's cute that's pretty i like that lastly for highlight we're gonna use this very interesting shaped brush this is the number four oval detail blender brush so this what this one looks like. So I'm gonna take like the kind of goldeny bronzy highlight that has cherry bomb embossed in it. Again, I don't want to ruin it, but I have to. So let's use that as highlight first. Okay. Ooh, all right. Now it's building up. Ooh. It is a bit sparkly, so if you don't, or shimmery, so if you don't like too much shimmer in your highlight, not for you. Sound like I'm talking to my cat when I'm like eating Chinese food. Not for you. Mm, I really like that. It gives you like the nice wet look without making it like greasy looking. Now I'm gonna take the white, very sparkly shade in that and I'm gonna use that on my nose. Oh, wow. 
There is a lot of glitter in that one. Holy, I did not know there was that much glitter in this. Let's just do the tip of my nose. Ooh, cute. Ooh, I love that. Let's tone it down though a little bit. Hmm. I'm gonna take Jeffree Star's Androgyny Liquid Lipstick and use that on my lips. So this is the completed look. I like it a lot. It's been a while since I did a full face. So I'm happy with it. So let's go down really quickly. You guys know I do love the Moonshine Miracle Cream. So this gets five Wicked Little Devils. Again, if you haven't seen my full video reviewing this and telling you all about it, I will link it up in the cards below. Um, the Lavender Sponge gets five Wicked Little Devils. I love them for six bucks. They really are fantastic sponges. You can't really go wrong. The Blur Powder super super nice really like flawless powder really really nice i really love the packaging as well uh five wicked little devils absolutely love that the brushes both the eyes and the face juno babe brushes get five wicked little devils super super soft and love the style love the color love everything about them um they work well they blend well really really nice i do that as well uh the cherry bomb palette uh i can only speak for cherry bomb and not bombshell because that's what goes with my skin tone um i'm going to give this i would say four wicked little devils i i'm gonna be straight up honest with you because i see way too many and i'm subscribed to them too and these are actually people some of them i don't know personally but i do talk to on occasion i'm not going to like shout them out or anything and make people go to them and be like Blaine's talked about you but there are people that I know that are affiliated with companies like Juno & Co, Shot Miss A, stuff like that, other companies like that who oversell like crazy and that is a huge pet peeve of mine and I can't stand when people do that when I own the product because I'm affiliated with the same brand and I own it and I'm like I know that this product isn't as good as this person is saying it, it is and the only reason they're saying like it's the most amazing product ever is because they're afraid that these companies are going to either drop them or not say send them anything anymore or not pay them or you won't get commission anymore things like that do not be afraid to give an actual honest review we can tell when you're applying something on your face that your words are not matching your reaction that it is not as great as you are saying it is okay don't be afraid to give an honest review you will always get the 100 truth with me with anything that i review if i'm getting paid if i'm not getting paid i don't care this gets four wicked little devils i absolutely love the shades i love the packaging um as you can see there's lots of kick up in this it's like you some of the pink from the blush is in there um i don't know there's just a little something i for 22 dollars um, the packaging is very like bougie for $22 and you get a fair amount. Um, I just wish there's like the bronzer contour shade, uh, very pigmented like that, but I actually like them to be a little bit less pigmented. That's my personal opinion. The blush, uh, again, a little less pigmented and I don't like shimmery blushes. Again, personal opinion. Um, the white highlighter is just like pretty much straight up glitter, which I don't mind but I don't like that as a highlighter I don't mind it as like glitter I can see why people like using this on their eyes because I definitely like using glitter on my eyes so I'm gonna give this a four wicked little devils so I would definitely cop any of these products and again make sure to use my link down below because you will help support me help support the channel uh, and get 10% off your entire order when you order anything from Juno & Co. Also, they gave me a cute little Juno & Co lighter sticker. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> if you guys have any further questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Uh, I'm sorry this video was so long and that I went on little rants, but I was just kind of doing a chit chat, get ready with me while reviewing Juno & Co products. 
So I don't exactly know what I'm going to entitle this video, but I'll think of something. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long for me to get in front of the camera again. I promise I'm not gonna like flake out for as long as I did again. Um, I'm gonna try to do as much blazeness as I can. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. My social medias are always linked down below. And of, yeah, of, course, of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and become a blazer and a part of the Blaze Nation. We'd love to have you here as long as you're as wicked as we are. And if you like these kinds of videos, give it a big old thumbs up to let me know so I know to keep reviewing products. And if you like chit chat videos, let me know down below as well. Or if you just like straight, get to the reviews, don't talk, let me know that as well. So I know what you guys, the majority of you guys like to see. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say for now. So I will see you guys soon. And until next time, my wicked ones, my beautiful peoples, Stay wicked, the beautiful people. Ah. Rolling in for the kill.